Hi, boys and girls, girls and boys. Hey, we just got back, Jack and Annie and I just got back from a trip to China. That's right, China. You know what? Jack and Annie slept with their clothes on because Morgan told them to be at the treehouse. She was, had a mission for them to go to a trip to China. So you know what? This is one of the first times she's ever told them where they were going to go the next time they came to the treehouse. But guess what? They come to the treehouse. They get up in the treehouse. They find a note from Morgan. Hey, you want to be sure to know what the note says. They get up in there. The, the, the treehouse starts spinning around. They look outside, and guess what? They're in China. They look outside, and they come, come down the rope, and they start walking across there, and they're trying to find the day, the, the Dragon King. And the Dragon King, in this book, Magic Treehouse, book number 14, called Day of the Dragon King by Mary Pope Osborne. And what happens in here is Jack and Annie are in China. They start walking along, and they ask the, uh, a guy out there said that was tending some cows. He said, they said, can you tell us where the Imperial Library is? And the man gets a funny look on his face because the Dragon King was not a nice guy. He was the first emperor of China. And so the man tells them to go down there to where a lady is. And so they go down there, and the lady's weaving silk. And Jack and Annie's never seen silk before, and she gives Jack and Annie something. You want to know, you, you're going to want to know what she gives them. And they give it to her, and they tell her that they're looking for the Imperial Library. And she says, oh, no, you don't want to do that because the, the Dragon King doesn't want anybody to know anything about how to read or write or anything. And they say, what? Well, how can that be? And she said, no, nope, can't do it. So some people start running after them. They run and jump in a cart, and they hide in a, in a wagon. And so they start going, they, and the driver of the wagon finds them in there. And he says, why are you in my wagon? And they said, because we want to try and find the Imperial Library. And he said, oh, no, no, no. And this guy was a scholar. And you know what? The king, the, the dragon king was trying to kill all the scholars. Well, I shouldn't have told you that because that's a very important part of the book. But you know what? Go ahead and read it anyway because there's more stuff in here. Like, like this, like they get out and they and he tells them where the imperial library is and the the, the king the dragon king's trying to burn up all the books they said what trying to burn up all the books he said yeah because the dragon king only wants people to know what he wants them to know he don't want them to know all about the history and stuff of the of the uh, of china so they start they start running and they find it they find the uh, the castle and they go in there and guess what? The Dragon King has got a big old bonfire and they're starting to throw books and stuff on the bonfire. Well, they actually didn't have books back then. Find out what they had though instead of books. And then they start running and the and the guards start shooting arrows at them and stuff. And they run into a big old tomb and there's 7,000 soldiers in there and the soldiers are all looking at them. Guess what, boys and girls? See how Jack and Annie gets away from the 7,000 soldiers? See if the 7,000 soldiers actually come after them or not. See what is very important about the 7,000 soldiers that are in this area, this tomb looking thing that Jack and Annie run into, and then see how they get back home. And then, you know what you're going to want to know? What do they tell their mom and dad about their trip to China when they get back? So get this book, Day of the Dragon King by Mary Pope Osborne. It's the Magic Treehouse book number 14. Jack and Annie, y'all okay? All right, well, come on down. We got to go. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. This is Mr. Dean with another Mr. Dean's Outdoor Reading Adventures.